Welcome back to FNM TV. We're coming with a round five. We got Tempered Steel against White Weenie. Corey Patient coming in for another feature match this week. Round one, he ended up playing our buddy Antonio Willis. Uh, we would have another match uh, posted, but uh, we elected to draw it out, me and my friend Suk. Uh, we ended up sharing a card pool, so we just intentionally drew for first place, splitting up that uh, store credit. I believe we made like. 140, 150 this week in store credit between both of us. So definitely a nice, uh, a nice haul in. Uh, get a watch Max deck work over here against Corey, which I'm a huge fan of Max deck. And for that matter, when Corey was running this deck, I was a huge fan of that one too. But there's just something about Max deck with this uh, tempered steel build that uh, resonates with me. And um, I think that's going to be our next deck deck. I want to get Mac in on this because his deck, it in my opinion, it's something special. Really, it really has it has something going for it that other decks don't have. I think it's built just right. And uh, and for his credit, he didn't copy anybody, not to my knowledge. This is all his own brewing. He did all the play testing for it. He made the right calls, in my opinion. And um, it'll be interesting to see how he takes us once Innistrad comes out because you end up losing a couple key cards. Um, Ornithopter seems to be one of them. It doesn't seem to be quite like uh, as fast as like a red deck win type stack anymore. You still have the Mem Knights, but you do lose out on those Flyers, which are huge, huge. The zero twos have become one twos flying in the air. Um, that little bit of extra damage helps out so much. Um, Vault Scourge stays. Obviously, most of the core, most of the core cards stay. But um, you also lose Steel Overseer, another key card to this deck. Gives you basically like I wouldn't say Lord, but I guess what you would call the equivalent to it with um, the Signal Pest and the Steel Overseer, and then, which isn't a Lord, but it's such a key card, the Tempered Steel, which just sends everything over the top. Makes your little dudes basically 3-3 three, three beaters. 3-3 three, three lifelink beater in the case of a Vault Scourge. So, he's going to pay 1, bring out his uh, Signal Pest, pay 2, bring up Porcelain Legionnaire. He's going to cheat in another Batter Skull. Which is gross, but he can deal with it. And Steel Overseer is going to turn sideways, giving everybody a nice, uh, delicious bonus here. Om nom 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 nom. Give me more counters. A first strikeable uh, Porcelain Legionnaire. That's now a 4-2, and it's only going to keep getting remarkably bigger. Nothing scarier than a 6-4 <laughs> th six first striking 3-drop. Uh, yeah, that's, that's something. Got that uh, Tempered Steel and one of those tokens on there. It's Titan Slayer, you know going back and forth over here in this game. Mac just swinging in. <laughs> he has enough evasion to do so. I'm trying to see where this goes. Because that first strike, you really can't do anything. You swing in, but it doesn't do anything for you in the long run. And he's just bringing out flare husks and blockers and batter skulls and anything that can help out but it doesn't really seem like it at this point next turn you really need to start equipping those flare husks on so we can get around that first strike and even then I think it'll be too late right now it's a 4-1 now it'll be a 5-1 and I think this actually might just be game right here Just all kinds of amazing. I 
Grill. Untap. Draw. Look over the board. Scoop it up. Mac wins in impressive fashion. Just completely beating down his opponents before they can really set up. And for that matter, actually, Corey did set up. It's just all that evasion going around with Max deck and the big beats. Can't really do anything about it. So, again, another one of my token little plugs over here at the screen. If you're in the area, Salem, Boston, anywhere around. We've already had a couple people that have seen this show on YouTube come down to visit us. We want you to be another one. Come on down. Check it out. Let us know that you saw it on YouTube. I'll try and get you on camera for the night in a good match. Um, and then we can upload it and you can see yourself on YouTube. Or if in the area, come down visit on vacay. We'd love to see you. Uh, follow along.